What do you think? Gorgeous. Isn't it great? Yeah. Good morning, all flute lovers and all flute players around the world. In the Native American world, we um, we believe that instruments have to resemble nature. Flutes um, were created because of the sound of birds. So often we try to resemble those sounds back to nature as a thank you note for those who gave us the idea of these beautiful sounds. This one in particular, uh, let me share with you a couple of things that I find to be very interesting and, and very good for, for the flute player. Um, number one, this one has a tuning mark, which allows you the opportunity to make sure that you're able to play this flute in tune with the movement, the shift, um, Sometimes this rope gets loosened up a little bit. Well, make sure you tie this tight enough. Make sure that this wooden peg is lined up with the marks on the side, on the drone note, and on the flute part. And it is ready to go. Those are things that I um, was able to figure out. This is a flute that I have not seen before. Uh, in terms of the some of the um, innovation of, of techniques that the flute maker uses for this flute. Uh, it has a tuning peg here that moves up and down to tighten the rope when it gets loosened a little bit. All of the double reed um, drone flutes are made of cedar wood. The, the neat thing about that is that when you play it, you can also smell the scent of cedar wood, which is quite unique. Um, they also come with a nicely made pouch that you can just, you know, carry your flute around. This is a single flute, North American, Native American flute, um, beautifully made, beautifully handmade. Um, and this has been made with two pieces, which is which requires a lot more of a technique in order for it to be just right. Um, but just the, the shape, uh, the form, the, the organic form that, that these flutes have. And there are a few different sizes, different tones uh, and tunes. Um, and what I like about this type of flutes is that unlike regular Native American flutes that you put your lips on top of the mouthpiece, on top of it, these hollow Native American flutes allow you the opportunity to put your lips in it and blow. I have a preference for them for some reason. I want to pause again and I want to point out something that is unique in, in this particular bass uh, flute. And I have played many different flutes um, throughout the years, but I have not seen very many with an ergonomic uh, system such as this one. I have played flutes that are pretty much a straight line in the holes placed symmetrical to the flute. When the flutes are small, um, it's not a problem. But when you play bass flutes, it is because of the fact that the holes are separate from each other, the diameter of the flute is larger, and your hands may have a hard time reaching the holes. But this one in particular has this tiny little hole on the side that is easier 
for the flute player to play. In the bottom one too, it goes right here. Instead of having to sort of force your wrist in order to reach that hole. 